Douglas Sports Talk, worldwide, with some news from the world of boxing, so y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, let's move up to the heavyweights, y'all. Let's move up to the heavyweight division. Things are going down, but y'all know if I got BAM, there's probably something I said that's going down right now. And uh, one of my favorite uploaders, you know, I can get this from, um, check that out. Normally, I don't uh, watch videos, but I got this information. I think it's really pertinent information. It's WBC, Deontay Wilder's WBC champion. And, you know, Dillian White and Eddie Hurd have been making noise, you know, that they'll probably sue Deontay Wilder if he tries to rematch and then have the trilogy with um, with your boy Tyson Fury. They say they want to sue him. Well, the WBC has come out and uh, Maurice Sullivan has said, you know, you know, basically, that's not how that should go down. Dillian White has had opportunities. They offered him a uh, man, uh, mandatory or whatever, to enter a match against Ortiz last year, among other things. And Dominique Brazil, which I didn't, you know, which they didn't mention, right? Sullivan is sick of the attacks of this, uh, the Eddie Hearn is out there talking about, right? Because, yeah, Dillian White, cool, he's in position. Number one, Sullivan said we like him and all that. But at the end of the day, he's had opportunities. And see, only people, you know, are trying to ignore, especially probably Joshua fans are saying, well, look, look let's get another guy from England somewhere. And, you know, and he's supposed to be fighting um, Deontay Wilder. Dillian White, like I've been saying the whole time, as much as I like me some Dillian White, but we have to be fair here. He shouldn't be able to sue nobody in the WBC. They asked you to fight Ortiz. They asked you to fight Brazil. Even Dominic Brazil was in front of him in the uh, rankings. He was next in line to fight um, Deontay Wilder. Dominic Brazil as number one said, hey, listen, well, well, if you're making all that noise, you know, the number one and the number two can fight. We can fight. You know, Dillian White didn't take it then. You understand? He didn't even take it then. So when you're talking about the WBC, you've had all the opportunities. And here's the one that I keep saying. Deontay Wilder told him, too, doesn't matter what the WBC says. All you have to do is fight Ortiz, right? And you get me no matter what. He's told him that, too. So you have Deontay Wilder telling him that. The um, WBC giving him two shots, fight Ortiz or Dominique Brazil. You don't. You go fight who you want to, a Chisura, because, yes, it's pay-per-view in England when I told you with nowhere else. But you can't fight who you want to and then tell them what to do. Now, on and, and, and top of that, like I've said before, he also had an opportunity to be at the Joshua's mandatory, right? To go to the IBF and beat up Kubat Pulev, right, in Bulgaria. Didn't want to do that. My point is, at that point, whatever with you. And that's what the WBC is about to talk about. They said it in a nicer way, but at the end of the day, whatever with you. You can't, that's not how you do it, right? So my point with him is he's fighting Oscar Rivas now, which is a good fight, but he could have had something done a long time ago. So with suing the WBC, good luck with that because with this information, Marisa Solomon is not having it. And he's getting irked by all of these things because he's like, see, this is how Eddie Hearn does. He's putting all this stuff in the media and he's only telling one side of the story. Obviously, he hasn't learned anything from the Anthony Joshua saga. Because you're pushing up on WBC, you're going to mess around and get Dillian White, and he's going to be further back in line, right? So, I just think it's really a travesty that Deontay Wilder has to fight Ortiz again before someone else does. And then the people don't fight Ortiz, and then they're going to still be like, well, fight me, right? That's what's happening with Dillian White. So, no, if you run up on WBC and WBC President Maurice Solomon, you might be talking on deaf ears, and you might get yourself in a little bit of trouble. So, I think that's news. Doing sports talk worldwide. And I'm up out of here, y'all.